conversation with scientist Marco Leona could have you reaching for the nearest dictionary. We have X-ray fluorescent spectroscopy, Raman spectroscopy, optical absorption spectroscopy. But Leona and his colleagues at the Metropolitan Museum of Art are happy to explain their work, especially to the young people gathered here for the Teens Take the Met event. We're opening a window on the work that we do behind the scenes of the Met to study and conserve works of art. And these teens are learning that science and art aren't mutually exclusive subjects. My research focuses on studying a blue pigment that we don't really understand as yet. And so by looking at this chemistry, we can start to understand how it was used in an archaeological context. We're using every scientific technique to essentially ask the question when you're faced with a work of art, what is this and how did it get here? Another question for these art detectives, is it real or fake? X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy is one way to find out. You shoot a very uh, fine X-ray beam onto the object, and the object responds by emitting other X-rays. So we can tell, is there lead, is there titanium, is there mercury? Identifying these elements gives researchers clues to an artwork's origins, and the portability of today's equipment means the technology is no longer confined to a lab. That's extremely empowering, and it's a quantum leap in what we can do. The hands-on experience will hopefully inspire the next generation of scientists. I want to um, create my own biotech company and hopefully like expand that into like creating more hospitals and improving healthcare in Africa. Combining science and art at the largest art museum in America? Some might call it a stroke of genius. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.